We back um, the Cornerman Radio. I feel like this fight should happen, man. Bra- Timothy Bradley versus James Kirkland, man. And the only reason why I want, um, I love this fight because Timothy Bradley is not gonna fight nobody on the PBC Showtime Al Heyman stable. So it's it's disappointing to see Timothy Bradley not fighting none of those guys. But what is left on the HBO stable, man? There's nobody. He fought Manny Pacquiao. He fought Jesse Vargas. He fought all those guys. The only person left on that HBO stable is Lucas Matisse. He just moved up to one fifty um one forty seven, and I don't see Lucas going to fight Bradley. I don't think Golden Boy is going willing to do that. So my thing is, what what's there left for Timothy Bradley? And if he does want to move up to the 154 um, stable, he said that um, one um, Diaz also said his former trainer. He said that um, Timothy Bradley fights the the best at 154 because he doesn't have to struggle to make 147. He always struggling making 147. So if he's having a struggle to make 147. Let's see, man. Um, um, Timothy Bradley said he wants to fight Miguel Cotto. You know what I mean? He's been screaming for that Miguel Cotto fight. Well, the winner of James Kirkland versus Timothy Bradley fights Miguel Cotto. James Kirkland was supposed to fight M- Miguel Cotto February, but he suffered a broken nose in sparring, so and the fight got canceled. Um, I don't know how the fuck James Kirkland can be out for a year and a half or two years and always get a big payday. Like, I don't know. I I don't know no boxer like that, man. Peter Quillen has been out for almost a a year and a half, and he's not even going to fight no main guy. So I'm like, wow, this dude, James Kirkland, whoever is this, is his promoter or whoever in HBO keep fight, um, giving him those big paydays, man? Sh- shout out to them, man, because I don't know how, but I'm pretty. I think Timothy Bradley and James Kirkland should be a war. Should be a war, man. Um, I really don't know who's gonna win this fight, man, because Kirkland only lose fights if you knock him out. If you don't knock him out. I don't see Kirkland losing a fight. And also, Bradley, Bradley don't have no knockout power. So, can Bradley outbox Kirkland? We'll see. We'll see, man. This will be a tough road. But I'm, I'm, I'm screwing for this Kirkland and Bradley fight, man. What's your take on it, Boxing Eye? Yeah, man. Bradley, Bradley not going to bring up. <laughs> he definitely not going to all of a sudden have power. At 154, <laughs> that's not happening. It's an excellent match matchup. Like for matchmaking, for what's going on in boxing now, we know Bradley. He's not. We'd love to see him, like you said, fight some of the PBC guys. Bradley versus Porter, Bradley versus Thurman, Bradley versus anybody. But Bradley's 33 years old. He wants the big payday. If they go to him, and his wife is his manager, and say, "Listen, we think you could outbox Kirkland." And when we can build into the Cotto fight. And Cotto, Bradley, people will pay for that. They know Bradley. They've seen him. The guy who got the, the decision against Manny, um, the guy who beat Marquez, you know, the guy who's been around the block. Bradley's had an excellent career. He's done it the right way. He's fought so many hard fights. He gave us the Bruce Lawn fight. Um, the guy's amazing. James Kirkland's a beat. It's going to be a hell of a He's going to be in there going up one place weight class versus a beast that we know has a chin problem but won't have a chin problem versus Bradley. We don't think. We would hope not. So Bradley's going to be using his feet, his quickness. Kirkland's going to be trying to walk this dude down like a fucking animal. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like the Lufkin 
was trying to do to to Kell Brook, you know. And Bradley Joe be using the quick hands in and out. And yeah, you know, he probably he been at one forty seven so long. He got so much upper body strength, man. You know, move up to one fifty four. Let's see how he does against Kirkland. And if he wins that fight, which I think he'll, I think I think Bradley can win that fight, man. I do. I think he's got. At 33, he's got enough left where he can be creative, beat Kirkland in a fun, entertaining fight where Kirkland's pushing him around and maybe hurting Brad. Because we all know Bradley's entertaining, but he's always getting hurt. He's always getting hurt in fights. Kirkland's going to hurt him. Bradley's going to – what's Bradley do when he gets hurt, bro? What's Bradley do? He grabs his balls. You know what I'm saying? He grabs his balls. He's got heart. He's a real motherfucker. And – he ain't gonna go down for nobody, and we Kirkland's gonna catch him. I'm telling you, it's an excellent fight, man. People need to stop fucking dreaming. He ain't gonna go fight. Just keep on. Look how much money Tim Bradley makes on HBO side, and top rank pays him. He ain't gonna go. Nah, Kirkland fight. He gets his money, his guaranteed, and he gets an opportunity. And he knows he can beat Kirkland. Gonna be tough, and then boom. He goes against Miguel Cotto, gets his last big payday. I don't think he can beat Cotto. Nope, I don't. And um, he might, actually, I give him a chance against Cotto. But we don't want to. Cotto Kirkland was a waste. Of, I don't even know why. <sighs> Cotto knocks Kirkland out. Easy. We all know that. But Bradley doesn't have that power. This is an excellent. When you said this, bro, I'm like, damn, this dude's a genius right now. Because I wasn't even <laughs> thinking about it. I was like, I wasn't even thinking about it because I'm like, I was, I was thinking about what is Tim Bradley gonna do. I'm like, I'm thinking like, what are you gonna rematch Jesse Vargas? Uh, nobody wants to see that. What's Tim Bradley want to do, man? I don't know. And then you know, randomly you hit me up like, yo, Bradley should fight Kirkland, and I'm like, ding, ding, ding. That's a motherfucking good ass fight that people will buy into on HBO. They'll be like, all right, HBO's putting because everybody's been like, damn, HBO's slipping. Nah. Bradley Kirkland, I know. <laughs> I've been watching boxing a long time, man. My boxing, if you love boxing, you love boxing like me. And when you hear Bradley versus Kirkland, if that don't get your juices flowing, sorry. But well, that's it, man. That's all I got to say. Bradley versus Kirkland. Tim Bradley's listening to this shit. I know we're probably the first people talking about this shit. Make this fucking fight, man. HBO is going to do over a – people will be tuned in for this. Get Ann Wolf in Kirkland's corner. Get a 24-7 for this shit. This is a good one, man. This is a good one. Come on, man. You got to give Brad- Bradley, you give him credit. Oh, I'm going up to 154 my first fight against James Kirkland. Come on, man. That's a good fight right there. Yo, right there. you know what? One thing, man, um, Kirkland is back with Ann Wolf. Bradley's with Teddy Atlas. The two hardest, like, um... <laughs> The most hardest, strong trainers, military type sergeant type trainers, man. Um, it's pretty it. interesting. I haven't seen Kirkland lose with Ann Wolf, and you know James Kirkland got knockout power, so he got like what twenty eight knockouts or twenty nine. But oh um, man, I, I can't, can't wait, you know, man. If, if they want to real, if they both want to fight Cotto. If they really both want to fight Cotto, Bradley should fight Kirkland first. If Kirkland want a um, Cotto fight, he should fight Bradley. 